How's it going lads? Phil Potter here. Welcome to the 8th episode of Road to the Golden Bollocks. Now we're starting off this episode using our European side, but before we plunge our ball bags into today's episode, if you're looking for some cheap ultimate team coins, make sure you check out thegamekeys.co.uk. Their link will be in the description below, and if you use the discount code Phil, you get a further 5% off. They also have a fully automated service, which means you get your coins in less than 5 seconds after your order, but we start off this episode with a, an incredible bit of Dikembe action. Go on Dikembe. Not today! <laughs> what a spectacular save from Iker Casillas there but as you can see from the halftime stats it's fairly even there's not much going on you know but your main default muscles Papastatopoulos or Socrates as he's more commonly known off the ball and slots the ball into the bottom corner it's a lovely finish but we reply instantly and Charlotte with a lovely reverse pass for Tony Cruz and now we're cruising lads haha <laughs> you see what I did there but uh, anyway hair man down the wing uh, hair man a literal translation of hair man is Mr. Man so I love the Germans they're absolutely mental bastards uh, but in the 62nd minute, we get very, very lucky here. Look at the state of this goal. A crack and finish from, from Sherla there. Look at that. Oh, my God. But Sherla goes from that heap of shite to this heap of shite. Wait, you see this. We're failing skills all over the shop. Look at this. <laughs> but at least he scores the goal. Oh, no, he doesn't. He could not score. And a jacuzzi full of fatties. Look at the state of that. That's a new one. But here we go for some cheeky time. Cheeky. Oh, that was a very nice little finish there. But we go from some cheeky time to some Dikembe. Have a look at this. I don't know about you, but I was dancing along to that tune until Diamante ruined it. The absolute bollocks. But look at D Gundogan burst through the defence. No wonder he was the fastest sperm to reach the egg uh, when he was a little sperm. Oh my God, what we're talking about. But, but we win the game with a late goal from Gundogan. Absolutely amazing stuff. That means we top the group and we're into the knockout stages once again. Oh Jesus, here we go. But in this pack, we get Sully Montari and he'll slot nicely into the African side now. Uh, but I'm using my South American team here. Now, I... No, I don't have the 92 Suarez here, but don't worry. In the next episode, I'll have the 87 Hummels and the 92 Suarez. So I can't wait to get my hands on them. But uh, this is the team we come up against, a very strong European side. And this guy was actually a really good player, I have to say. But Matthias Fernandez must have been like a ballerina in another lifetime because this is just amazing footwork. And to fit that in, oh my God, that guy is so accurate with his shot. He could shit through the eye of a needle. Unbelievable stuff. But Benteke here, you know, I, I knew what he was going to do but I couldn't defend it you know and it was a nice little finish but once again look at these skills from Matthias Fernandez absolutely amazing stuff we get very lucky with the ball bouncing to Fidel Martinez and that beautiful left foot of his you see like a ginger black man Fidel Martinez because that's the way he looks in FIFA anyway but look at this uh, I had to hand it to my opponent here this goal was absolutely delicious uh, the little flick back from Benteke and what a strike into the top of the net unbelievable stuff and after he scored that amazing goal I was like I'm gonna give this a shot too flick the ball back to Fidel Martinez and we welly the crossbar so as you can see at half time it's very even this guy <laughs> this guy is a really good player I have to say and I was shitting myself just a just a little bit you know yourself but Ibarra goes come on let's grab the game by the bollocks lads beats two defenders drills the ball into Suarez but unfortunately he misses a sitter now I'm sure if I had my 92 Suarez there he would have scored it no problem and he probably would have scored that chance too uh, but anyway, in the 72nd minute, Mike on, you know, this is just delicious, right? An inch perfect pass to Suarez, and third time lucky, Suarez is not going to miss that chance, you know? We win the game 3-2, three, three, and that means we're into the quarterfinals. Oh my God, this is really, it's squeaky bum time now at this stage, lads, you know? I'm, I'm, you have to picture me in an absolute sweat shitting myself, okay? <laughs> but uh, we get Robinho in this pack, he's probably not going to get ahead of uh, Fidel Martinez in my South American side, so unless I'm building, like, a, a full Brazilian team at some stage then he's, he basically hasn't a hope of getting in the team you know but this is the team we come up against in the quarterfinals it's very strong at the back and then he's got uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and you know we all know how good he is but it's time for it to Kembe not in my heart <laughs> Oh my god, Goza, Goza missed an absolute sitter there, but Gundogan with a beautiful 1-2 with Fernando Torres, and then he could not score in a speedboat full of fannies, what a miss. Now, Nani goes, right, I want to get the, the viewers here, I want to get their juices flowing, lovely skill down the wing, and a simple little finish from Fernando Torres, and that's a, a half time, we're doing fairly well, we've got the same amount of chances, but I'm just edging it in possession, uh, that seems to be the way most of the time anyway, but unfortunately, Santi Gazzaro 
Carla ate a sweet mix this morning because I could not catch up with him. I'm sure my 87 Hummels would have caught up with him if only I was using them there, you know. But uh, Sherla with some lovely skills and unfortunately he doesn't score but it falls to Jordi Alba at the edge of the box. What is he doing at the edge of the box? I don't really care. But uh, in the 79th minute he goes down the ring, ring with Cristiano Ronaldo and look at this. Jesus, that's very sexy there, isn't it? I'm about to romantically explode all over the shop, especially after seeing Hummel's amazing tackle in the 90th minute. Inch perfect, that's how I like it. But as if I wasn't peppering my pants enough uh, earlier on, we're into the <laughs> we're into extra time. Some lovely skills here from Nanny, uh, but unfortunately Manuel Neuer makes it a simple save, you know. And that was the only chance in extra time, which means we're going into penalties. And I was an absolute mental, physical wreck at this stage. Uh, <laughs> I had sweat pouring down into my eyes. I was like I was wrestling with a sumo wrestler you know what I mean but uh oh my god we miss our penalty with Nani and Fernando Torres and basically we we all scored the rest of our penalties uh for the shootout which means we lose the game on penalties oh my god that's absolutely sickening back to the group stage as we go it, thank god there isn't four four years in between in between each time I'm able to enter the world cup again otherwise we'd be in 2060 or whatever you know what I mean but we get Breck Shea in that pack probably not going to use him at any stage and then we get Buffon like Buffon is great and all but he's you know he's not going to get in ahead of Casillas now in real life I'd probably have Buffon over Casillas but that, that's just me that's just me and I know Oh, Casillas on current form has been rubbish as well so yeah Buffon would slot nicely in there but look at this team it's a fairly nice side a uh, good European team but it's time for Dikembe not today <laughs> Nice little save there. As you can see, look, absolutely nothing happening. He's probably had the better of it. But thanks be to Jesus. My name is Phil Potter and we step up to the mark here in the second half. Uh, Suarez with some lovely skills. Look at this. Oh, God, unbelievable. Uh, but unfortunately, Fernando Gago couldn't score a scissors kick there. But Luis Suarez, or no, not, sorry, Luis Gustavo takes the ball. And look, oh my God almighty, I wasn't expecting a strike on Gustavo like that, you know. Oh, my God. Courtois was miles away from getting the ball. Look how far away he was what a finish that was uh, and in the 63rd minute look at the skills from Matthias Fernandez. absolutely delicious oh my god I'm losing control of myself here he gets booked unfortunately I thought he was going to get sent off but for some reason my opponent rage quit after he got a booking <laughs> and I was like oh fair enough you're only one goal down but I'll take the win thanks very much uh, we get Nekunam now oh my god Iran have impressed me I don't know about any of you lads but Iran are the dogs bollocks uh, they are such an organised team really hard to break down and I think uh, I'd, I'd love for them to get through oh my god but anyway that's it for today's episode I hope you have enjoyed uh, if you did don't forget to leave a like it helps me out so much that's about it talk to you again soon lads have a good one I'm loving you